is Nick and World Through Open Eyes. When I last left off, we were in Madrid. I was freaking out about getting my ticket, and rightfully so. Uh, the morning I was very stressed out. I had everything pretty much ready the night before, which helped my stress level. Um, hopped into an Uber, took that to the train station. I was about an hour early. I was feeling pretty good. I tried figuring out how to work one of the kiosks. I could not. And then so I went in to get my ticket and people were just everywhere. Luckily, somebody saw my confusion and pointed towards a machine where you pull out a, um, a ticket like you were waiting at the deli with a number on it or the DMV. More like the DMV because of how long uh, I had to wait. Um, and then meanwhile, well, like right as I arrive at the train station, I get a message from the, my first Airbnb host. And he said, um, make sure you get here by 5.30 because I have to leave to go to work. Well, if I couldn't get on the train that I wanted, I wasn't going to make it there at that time. And then I would have no idea what to do. Uh, so I was in a little bit of a panic um, while waiting in line, you know. That by itself was pretty exhausting, um, just being in a panic. Uh, I was able to get my ticket for there, and I was able to get my ticket halfway to Cacasserone, uh, where they have beautiful cas uh, beautiful castle, medieval village type thing. Um, but only halfway there, because uh, for, you could get from Spain to France, and then... Um, before I uh, left that train station, uh, I'd have to either buy another ticket or get it online, but I uh, definitely couldn't print the ticket because I didn't bring a printer with me. So uh, I picked print at the airport or at the train station, and uh, I didn't know how that would work out, so I was a little worried because I only had a half an hour between getting off the one train, printing the ticket, and getting on the other train. Um, but back to Barcelona, uh, mainly just viewed the town, um, but the one site I did see, La Sagrada Familia, was beautiful. It was so unique. Uh, it just took my breath away. Even though I couldn't figure out where to pick up the audio guide that I paid for, um, the night before when I reserved my time slot, uh, it was still... I didn't need it. it. The beauty itself was was enough for me. It's a they're still building it. It's been in construction for two hundred years. It's it's the most beautiful cathedral I've seen so far because of its uniqueness. Um, but yeah, the rest of the time I just wandered around. I liked being amongst the people. I liked walking along the coast. Um, a little. Not warm enough uh, for me to get to the beach during that time. I mean, it was nice, but I, I just wasn't inspired. Uh, when I left there, um, you know, I found a, found a taxi through the My Taxi app, had that take me to the train station, boarded my train, you know, and headed to France. Um, and at the French train station, I'm trying to print my ticket at one of the kiosks and it could not find me i'm guessing because of my two last names that continuously causes problems um so i had to go to the ticket counter luckily much shorter of a line it wasn't a big deal they were able to print the ticket for me i was able to get on the train get to carcassonne and my second airbnb with two awesome uh people um, guy and his wife, I think they're married, uh, but they were very kind, they gave me a lot of tips, um, they shared food with me, um, just each Airbnb has been an amazing experience, uh, and less expensive than if I wanted to get a private room at a hostel in the areas that I've chosen to do Airbnbs, which I've found a little mysterious, um, hostels, I would have met more people, but it wouldn't necessarily have been as intimate of a meetings. Um, so I picked up my ticket, um, from the train station for Carcassonne to Canes. 
um, when I arrived in Carcassonne, so I was able to leave uh, Four Canes very easily, or Khan. I don't know, I murder all the names of the cities. I feel horrible every time I say a name of a city, especially to somebody who knows what the actual name of the city is. Um, but Khan, as I believe it's called, has been beautiful. I'm about to head to the beach now, relax for a while. I haven't seen really any sights, but yeah, that, that's not what I'm really here for. I walked around. The weather's been beautiful. I'm sure the uh, being at the beach today is going to be nice. Then when I get back, do a quick load of laundry, pack as much as I can uh, so I can be ready to leave for tomorrow. I am going to... Uh, I'm thinking about picking up my ticket for tomorrow, today, but there is like three trains pretty close together. It's only a half an hour away. I really don't think it's going to be a big deal, but then again, it is Saturday, so probably more people traveling. Probably good for my nerves to do. I'm still trying to decide how many days I want to spend in Nice and Ease. It's spelled easy e maybe um, but you know I haven't been getting a lot of work done I've been depressed nobody's been commenting I'd love to get some comments uh, with questions or ideas of what you'd like to see in future videos um, just comments are nice because then I know people are paying attention uh, hopefully if I, uh, you know, whether I start getting comments or not, I can get, gain my momentum back and start putting out videos more often. Uh, I do have an amazing video of the uh, La Sagrada Familia uh, 360, um, and that place is definitely where that 360 video is going to shine. So I hope that's good. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll try to shoot another vlog before I leave um, from wherever I'm going next, um, uh, and, uh, like, comment, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching, you have a